so we're going to do a video now of um, the app that we use for music. We use Spotify. Uh, Spotify is a premium app which you can pay uh, to stream music from and you can download music directly to your iPad. Um, and then once all your music is on your iPad you just click the Spotify app and that will launch your library. Uh, and then all you do to get music is just to click your song and then turn your volume up and the music will be coming through the speakers of the car. Click that for the artwork. Now the artwork is in a gorgeous cover flow which you can simply just swipe through. You can go back, you can skip, you can skip back, pause, play. You can do all those functions on the steering wheel as well. Volume. Volume down. Skipping tracks. You can scrub through tracks by holding down the skip button. You can also use the iPad's built-in um, controller for Spotify, so you just swipe up and then you can pause and skip and scrub through. You can do that while you're outside of the Spotify app as well, so if you want to go and check something else, an email or a website, you just click the home button, the music's still in the background. And you can either skip from here on the steering wheel or just swipe up and then do it that way. Um, Spotify is perfect for streaming stuff, so if you're on data plan with your iPad or connected to your iPhone for the data, you can stream music while driving. So you can click radio. And you can listen to music which is similar to your stuff that you have on your on your iPad. So you click that. And then it will just literally um, pick genres of music which are similar to the songs that you like to listen to. If you like those sort of songs and you're on data and you're streaming them, you can click the plus button which will automatically save it to your hard drive. So you can do that while you're driving. You can also give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then Spotify will start to recalculate the way uh, it thinks about the way you like your music and it will also update that down further down in the cover flow. So just give it a thumbs up and it says improving station, done. There's another cool feature which you can do is if you're in the gym and you're listening to Spotify on your phone, you can approach the car and the iPad will know that you've been listening to Spotify on your phone and it can directly stream it to your iPad. So you come out the gym with your headphones on, listen to a, a cool track that you like, you come near the car, press the prompt that will come up on the screen, I'll show you this now, and then it will stream it directly to the iPad. So we'll just test that out now. Mark's iPad listen to on phone so it's doing it back the other way but um, if we continue we start playing this song and then scroll to the bottom right to the bottom of that and it can give you a list of uh, the options where you can play it so you can play it on the iPad or on the iPhone so that's already going from the iPad to the from the iPhone to the iPad actually. Let's just do that one more time. So now that is literally streaming that to the to the iPad. Another cool thing for that is if you've got kids in the back and you, you're driving on a journey, you can give them your iPhone and they can skip or play whatever music they want on the on the iPad. So this is the song that's playing from the iPhone, streaming to the iPad and you can skip through the songs from the phone using the phone as a remote. So your kids are in the background, 
and in the back of the car, sorry, and you want them to have function of the, the music um, so you can carry on driving and they can just literally shuffle through streamed music or music from your library. That's the Spotify app pretty much taken care of.